This Hollywood star had an affair with her teenage stepson and the scandal left her career in ruins. When it comes to the showbiz world, we tend to see celebrity scandals as a recent phenomenon, but public outrage and publicized misconduct have existed for as long as Hollywood has been cranking out stars. And in the case of 1950s femme fatale Gloria Graham, the backlash was enough to sink her career for good. Before we get started, take a moment to please subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment and give us a like. Born in Los Angeles in 1923, Gloria Graham Howard seemed destined for a career in front of the cameras. Taught acting by her mother Jean McDougall, the ingenue initially left home to begin a theater career in New York City, but it would be back on the West Coast where the star would really make her name. After grabbing the attention of studio mogul Louis B. Meyer, Howard agreed to a seven-year deal with MGM in 1944. Under the mother's maiden name, Graham, the actress made her film debut in the comedy Blonde Fever. Later, she would take a role in the 1946 Christmas classic It's a Wonderful Life. Nevertheless, Graham fell short of her studio's box office expectations and in 1947, MGM sold her contract to rival company RKO. Rather than spell the end of her career, however, RKO's acquisition instead gave Graham a much-needed push into the spotlight. Indeed, by casting the star in darker films, the studio discovered Graham's niche. Starting with 1947's Crossfire, Graham began playing femme fatale roles in the era's highly popular film noir crime thrillers. Well received by audiences and critics alike, Crossfire would result in Graham's first Oscar nomination, and just five years later, the actress would win a statuette for The Bad and the Beautiful. In contrast to the confidence many actors feel after an Oscar win, Graham became intimidated by her success. After suffering a case of Oscar fright, as she admitted to Silver Screen in 1953, the star tried to break free of typecasting with the 1955 musical Oklahoma, but purportedly abusive and unfriendly behavior made her unpopular on set. In addition to her on-screen struggles, Graham also endured a string of difficult relationships. In 1945, she married actor Stanley Clements, a man whose alleged penchant for drinking and gambling alienated the screen idol. After three years of marriage, the pair ended their relationship, one that Graham said was physically abusive. Mere hours after legally separating from Clements, Graham tied the knot with film director Nicholas Ray. Like his new bride, Ray had also been married once before. Graham's new husband had previously been wed to journalist Gene Evans, with whom he had a son named Tony. Having met on the set of A Woman's Secret, Graham and Ray seemed a perfect match. Though it ultimately produced a son, Timothy, the couple's relationship was fraught with difficulties. Despite worrying about his wife's alleged infidelity, Ray himself was ambivalent towards his feelings for Graham. In fact, the director once supposedly admitted, I was infatuated with her, but I didn't like her very much. Following completion of 1950's In a Lonely Place, the pair briefly broke up before separating for good the following year. Subsequently, Graham married producer Cy Howard in 1954, a union that would similarly bear one child and end in divorce. After her negative experience on the set of Oklahoma, Graham stepped back from the spotlight. Beside reducing her film work, the actress also managed to keep her name out of the papers. That is, until 1962, when tabloids discovered the starling secret behind her split with Ray, one which would prove devastating to her career. During a fleeting reconciliation with her husband, in the summer of 1951, Graham had received a visit from Tony Ray, who was looking for his father. Then 13, the director's son had known his stepmom since the age of 10. However, that didn't stop him developing a crush on the screen star, who shockingly returned his affections. Nevertheless, the pair's initial tryst proved to be short-lived. Soon after giving in to their temptations, Graham and Ray were caught in bed together by their respective husband and father. Unsurprisingly, Ray Sr. called an end to his and Graham's marriage, though he decided not to reveal details of the incident to the public. Paying scant regard to the scandal such behavior could cause, however, Graham would continue to pursue her stepson romantically. They got together again in 1958, and the illicit lovers married in secret two years later. And this revelation would prove too much for the star's former fans to handle. When word about both the affair and marriage broke in 1962, Graham initially tried to downplay the public's outrage. I married Nicholas Ray, the director, she's said to have told a reporter. People yawned. Later on, I married his son, 
and from the press's reaction you'd have thought I was committing incest or robbing the cradle nonetheless the scandal had very real consequences for Graham and her family angered by the news of his former wife's remarriage Cy Howard fought to block the screen icon from seeing their daughter Mariana meanwhile Graham herself underwent electroconvulsive therapy after the ensuing stress caused a nervous breakdown moreover word of the affair meant that few producers were now willing to cast the Oscar winning actress indeed far from the Academy Award worthy films of yore Graham now had to settle for much more meager TV and grindhouse movie roles certainly it was a striking fall for a star of such formerly monumental stature despite the controversy Graham and Anthony Ray proved a happy couple in fact the marriage would become Graham's longest and lasted almost 14 years 10 more than her previous union with Ray's father in that time she also gave birth to two children Anthony jr. and James with little left for her in Hollywood after her and Ray's divorce Graham eventually moved to London in 1978 initially there to rekindle her love for theater the actress eventually met her true soulmate although fellow actor Pete Turner was nearly 30 years younger than her the two remained together until Graham's 1981 death from breast cancer since her death those who knew Graham have tried to restore these stars tarnished reputation Turner wrote about their time together in his memoir film stars don't die in Liverpool which was turned into a film last year nevertheless Graham's story remains one of Hollywood's most shocking tales and above all demonstrates our enduring love of and thirst for a good skin check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button thank you for watching